Steven here from Recreational Power Sports coming at you with a new Avalon here. Uh, so this one, 2024 Avalon LSE 2185 CRB. So CRB is a cruise rear bench. I'll show you that when we get inside and at the back of the boat and why it's one of our most popular units. Um, starting at the outside of the boat here, uh, matching Shorelander trailer, tandem axle. Uh, it's the black rock guard powder coating stuff. So it shouldn't rust. It will wear really well. Uh, we got brakes on it. We got a nice front winch stand here. Doubles as stairs to get into the boat. Um, at the outside of the boat here. So back to the 2185. Uh, so that's a 21 foot play pen. So this is the play pen itself. The inside of the boat. Eight and a half wide. Uh, the, wa the reason why it's a little bit funky is because it's actually got a two foot patio pad. So it makes it a 23 foot overall boat. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at it online there. Uh, so at the outside of the boat here, first thing you notice blackout package. So black rub rails, black corner caps, black lights, black top rails, and black bimini. Okay. Uh, the matte black exterior, pop-up cleats. Okay. Uh, underglow lights, super cool, super popular. I try to put them on all my boats so that they all pop. Six lifting fins. So the lifting fins on the boat will help you get out of the water faster and on plane. So they just lift the boat out of the water, um, removes the drag essentially. Side keels here, so for impact, uh, it won't impact the pontoon. The side keel will take the brunt and it should uh, make your pontoons look better for longer. Tandem axle trailer once again. Uh, once again, more pop-up cleats. Uh, right here is what I was talking about, the two-foot patio pad here. So a lot more room, uh, jump off the boat there, do whatever you want, add a diving board, hang out. Um, ski pylon, so do all your water sports from there. Four-step boarding ladder, okay. So nice and big, nice and deep, nice grab handles, get on and off, right. So we got that. The back of the boat, we got it powered nicely with a 150 horsepower Mercury engine, stainless steel prop. Opposite side of the boat here, we have just a nice big uh, place to put a diving board, a barbecue, whatever you want here. So lots of room on the back of the boat here. Uh, matte black in color as well. If you want to follow me inside the boat, I'll show you what the interior is all about. In the interior of the boat here, you could see what we got going on. So. Uh, I, I personally love the cognac interior, so a lot of my boats have the cognac in it. Uh, so you can see we got the cognac, we got a little bit of charcoal, and then we got the white as well. So all three colors actually pop really well together. Um, really, really look good. We got uh, the cognac wood grain cladding. We got the stainless steel inserts, just makes it pop. Uh, obviously the blue ice package, so you got the toe kicks, you got the speakers, the cup holders. Uh, throughout the boat. So just another little uh, nice feature we like to add to the boat. Um, the Avalon boats uh, under the seats are all aluminum. So they're not the rotocast. You got a lot of room underneath there. Uh, they breathe very well. So it keeps everything nice and dry. As you continue on, uh, you're going to notice we got a nice size ski locker here. So you open that up nice and big, a lot of room, put your Water sports, life jackets, whatever you want in there, because you got a lot of room in there. Uh, we've got the side entry here, as well as the pop-up change room. So if you pop up that change room there, privacy station, whatever you want to call it, if we pop this snap off, this pops up, and then this drapes down here. Uh, so you can open it with a zipper and enter in, do whatever kind of business you need to do change privacy whatever you need uh use it as a restroom whatever so it's all there ready to go and it just folds down here i'll just fold down real quick and tuck it away nicely tuck that on and then folds down nicely so you can see it's fairly quick at the main helm here you're going to see we got a nice upgraded chair with armrests swivels slides and reclines so get the arms and then you get the button and you recline so uh, a lot of nice features on this chair here uh, at the main helm 
tilt steering. We love the tilt steering where I come from. So uh, allows you to get in and out of the boat better. Uh, Multi-gauge package here. So trim, fuel, miles per hour, and RPM. Uh, we got a fish finder here. So you could use the fish finder for finding fish or use it for depth and temperature and some maps. Opposite side, we got a stereo here. We got all accessory switches right here. Uh, controller here, key switch, kill switch. Uh, we upgraded the stereo on this one, so we got the nice big sub here as well for you. Underneath here, it's a lot of storage. Okay, and then we got the nice L seating here with typically a table going right in this location right here. The boat does come with a table. We typically install it upon delivery for you. Uh, so we could determine where you want it, if you want it here in the front. And then you can see the amount of room here behind the captain chair. So lots of room to get in and out of the boat um, and jump off the back at the patio pad aspect. This here is called the CRB. So I did talk about it at the beginning. The, this is the cruise rear bench. So you can see you got forward facing and you got rear facing as well. So in this situation here, if you could just hang out, you know, watch the water sports, you could do some fishing, you could just do a sunset cruise, whatever you want to do here. But uh, ability, it's very versatile, do a lot of different stuff and you can see how much room you have as well. Underneath here is some storage. So just a nice uh, storage box as well there, it cleans up really nicely. And, uh, the last thing we got underneath here, we do have dual battery system with a battery switch as well, manual battery switch. The boat also comes with a mooring cover, which covers the boat from the front to the back. Uh, the bimini collapses down nicely and has a nice boot for it. So if you guys have any questions, concerns about the boat, you can check us out online, recreationalpowersports.com. Come on down to the dealership if you can, and I'd be happy to show you this.